You know, we already showed you the fire in the low country, and one of the big problems when we have is the winds. They can just pick up those embers and mm -hmm. spread them for miles. That is true. We've had gusty winds for the last few days, really. And in this case, it was the sea breeze that had already passed Lemon Island, had worked its way farther westward, mm -hmm. and behind that sea breeze front, we got some gusty winds. Wow. Take a look at this. Here are the maximum wind gusts for several locations today. Savannah had a maximum wind gust of 21 miles an hour. Buford, 18 miles an hour. If you see a town that doesn't have a wind gust, listed it was less than 10 miles an hour so perhaps Hilton Head was not a problem but check over here Buford and at Savannah and you get a sense that right up the broad river there was quite a gust of wind that was going out through the afternoon now tonight things are very quiet you're looking at uh, Savannah's only live and local uh, Doppler Max 11 radar, and there's nothing to report across the area. Just some high clouds are starting to build their way in. Clouds that are in re relationship or developed because of the storms that are over Alabama. As those clouds push this way, it will filter our sunshine a bit for tomorrow. But if you've got travel plans tomorrow, take a look at this. Except for New York with some rain, Chicago with some thunderstorms, and Atlanta with clouds, everybody else should be in pretty good shape. Some warmer temperatures, too safe travels wherever you may be heading. Lots of precipitation for the northern tier of states. This is the most active storm track, but we're watching what's down here in the south. Right along I-10, showers all the way from almost Panama City back to New Orleans and some of the heaviest rain over Mobile Bay. Streets streaming up northward along uh, I-65. Tuscaloosa has had a half an inch of rain in the past several hours. None of that is coming our way, I'm afraid. It will rain itself out over, the, uh, uh, over Tennessee and the Tennessee Valley. Tornadoes, nothing to report today, but we did have a lot of hail damage to report. Hail damage in association with some of those storms as well. Future Max, though, keeps us dry tonight. Then, boom, there's that cloud cover, that stratus cloud cover and patchy fog that we saw inland the last couple of days. By lunchtime, it's all gone. Again, we keep track of all this precipitation that by 9 o'clock tomorrow will be over Atlanta, but still, just to Macon and not headed our way, it's going to rain itself out before it even gets here. Quite a bit of precipitation in association with this, too. Rain as heavy as over an inch and a half in several locations, Mississippi, up into Tennessee, and eventually into Kentucky. But it's not heading our way, he said, wanting desperately to see some rain. Not tonight, though. The first alert, Doppler Max 11 forecast. Patchy fog inland, 66 should be the overnight low. Just a light breeze tomorrow. Mostly sunny skies, breezy warmer, 88. Look at that southeast wind that will be with us. Then 66 tomorrow night, 88 again on Friday and mostly sunny skies. Saturday, we've added a 20% chance of late day showers and thunderstorms. Same for Sunday, Monday, perhaps Tuesday, Wednesday. Backdoor cold front will swing through right about here into the forecast period and might give us a chance of showers. Not a great chance. Chance, but every little bit helps at this point. Again, 88 mostly sunny for tomorrow and the 20% chance of showers through the weekend. 89 Saturday, 90 on Sunday. Oh, tomorrow, Hinesville Farmer's Market opens for the regular season on Commerce Street at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We welcome them. Glad they're back. Wherever you've got planned, stay with us on Twitter at Big John Weather. Thanks, John. You're welcome. Well, it is a beautiful.